Hi, this is Shadi. Jigoro Kano often talked about judo. His higher purpose is to contribute to society. And it's all left to interpretation in a sense, but come to think of it, it's it's something that is the natural order of things once you understand that education is very important. And he talks about three types of education. The physical, which we are all familiar with, the moral, and I'll get to that, and the um, intellectual. So constantly being a student, constantly being eager to learn, having the beginner mindset, and this will take you a very long way. So Kano, in, the, in his writings, he talks about three levels of judo. I have discussed this uh, relentlessly. However, today I have a physical example and a manifestation of this higher level in my opinion so he talks about the higher level in the sense that after you acquire the the physical and the intellectual and the knowledge and the intelligence now it's up to you to contribute to society how many people you know that are high achievers very wealthy the best in their craft yet they can often be terrible people and involved in very shady things and probably ruin some people's lives. I can think of many examples. So being the best at what you do doesn't necessarily mean you are good in your own household. We all shake hands and bow and and uh, smile at our randori partner or sparring partner. And you see, you know, judo is about respect, but it really should go way deeper than that. And if you know the three education that Kano talked about, they're not just education. I like to think of them as struggles, physical struggles. So if I can get myself to fight someone bigger than me and maybe come out a winner, that's a physical struggle that I have gained confidence with. Moral struggle, same thing. If you look at the current world events, so many of our leaders have a shattered moral compass and making the right decision is often very difficult. Mental struggles, being dedicated to learning, always learning, whether it's a craft, a technique, a new language, and also mentally tough and present for whatever it is, you'd realize that anything you face in judo will help you take it outside and for example if you have a massive uh, work meeting with the with the city hall to create the big project and you want to make sure it's great for the next generations rather than fall into corruption and you know the city hall is tough you faced some good struggles in judo and then now you can take them with you because you had some 100 plus kilo guy on top of you the, the night before i'm sure you can take on some meeting with some words as long as you stay present now recently i have had the pleasure and the luck to discuss this topic with katarina costa i'm sure many of you are familiar with her she is currently ranked eighth and as you can see she is a medical uh, student and at the same time competing at the highest level, Olymp fifth at the Olympic Games, and at the same time constantly traveling and competing. So she shared quite a bit of this perception. Now, if you th think about it, you have medicine, which is the most selfless career path that you can take, and you can sacrifice so much of your time and years and your sleep, and at the same time, she's the high level athlete which can a lot of people say it's the most selfish where you're only concerned about your training and not and no one else should matter and as you can see she has one of the best ashibarai and she actually explained that it's through judo that she helped maintain that balance and also succeed in whatever she's trying to do outside so please have a listen do you feel like yeah. Do you feel like judo has helped you with your um, like medical career? Yeah, of course. And uh, I think uh, judo values helps you a lot to be a better person, of course. And that mm -hmm. will like that 
will be not in your personal life, but at your career as a doctor, as a, as a, a student, as whatever you are going to to be in the future. So, so yes, I think um, Judah, because of the values that it has, um, make make me a better person. But also, like the competition part, the focus, the discipline of doing all that that you, that you said, being focused on on the sleep, recovery, nutrition, yeah. um, also as a big role in in my studies and in the medicine because if i go to a grand grand slam final and i'm kind of nervous if i go to an exam i won't be nervous because i will think no if if i was going to a final i will be nervous this is just an, an exam I, I must be more relaxed and yeah. the same i can do a little bit on judo like if you are going to uh, a medal contest and you feel ah, I'm so nervous you you can also wait but I'm nervous why it's just I, I'm doing what I love nervous is being I don't know at a surgeon table you have some patient you know with some patient there and you have to fight for him to be alive that's pressure that's uh, okay yeah. you, you can be nervous so I think I can also balance that and um, and yeah you know the judo and the medicine are in my life are, are really balanced and together because it, it helps me in in both um, i think it really like the, like what you give back in the sense is is far more important i've been reading a lot everyone what they wrote a hundred years ago 50 years ago and i think judo is it's almost like basketball now like i want to do all is judo study judo in college and then become champion and then maybe later just coach and that's you can say the same for basket but if you want to create better doctors people who save lives who 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 or lawyers to defend the people's rights etc i think now how you you're doing it i think it's it's very unique and revolutionary because i think this is what jigoro kano wanted i think and really it's i cannot commend you enough for it thanks but i i agree with you yeah that's it that's it if you just focus on judo it will happen in your career you have like a bigger injury or for some reason you have to go a little bit out of trainings or something and you you don't like recognize yourself you just have that and you take yeah. out that what do you have yeah you are like person, a person, judo and the personal space. And what do yeah. you have? Just judo? Yeah. That's good, but you also need to have something like a hobby, yeah. studies, yeah. A job. Yeah. Um, I don't know, something. Create yourself. Yeah, yeah. Just something. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's why I think it's. It doesn't have to be medicine, such a hard yeah. thing. But you, you right, you right. Some, some other thing, and I, I think that what's balance a good athlete. Mm. I, have you heard of? Um, I'm sure, I'm sure the you heard of it. It's uh, like a post retirement depression. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's very common. It also um, we have in um, Olympic blues. It's like yeah. after you have the Olympics and the, it passes, yeah. even if you do good and you have those depression cases of athletes that fill yeah. a, a gap. They, they yeah, just, like now oh, what? Yeah, now what? I, I worked so hard for four years, even if I continue, but now what? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. exactly. And mental health is also very important. Yeah. Uh, as important as physical health but sometimes because we don't see it um mm -hmm. people people used to um, for, forget about it or just don't give enough credit to that yeah 